Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 3 of the Illustrator tutorial series. Today we're going to look at layers. So, so for that I'm going to create an artboard. So I seem to have left the option uh, on from the last lesson. I'm just going to change that into only one artboard. I just need one for this. And there, uh, if you use Photoshop, then you must be familiar with a layer. So if I were to drag a shape over here, just like this, drag multiple shapes, then what happens is that in Photoshop, it stacks up into same layer. So if you were to go here in, in the layers panel, or you can go to windows and then go to layers over here, you can see that the layer is actually one. So, but what you can do is you can uh, go to the selection tool and then move the layers as if they're into different layer. So how does this happen? It's because uh, Illustrator actually creates something called sub layers. So if you were to press this triangle icon over here in the layers panel, then you can see that there are four path sub layers. So these are the layers. So whenever I create something inside a layer, then it is created as a sub layer. So I can also use a different layer over here. So I can just create a new layer and then drag it. And you can see that this is now actually in the layer too. So there are sub layers and layers. I can also drag it up uh, to the layer. So you can see that this acts as a group over here. So this is how Illustrator works in terms of layers. And uh, unlike Photoshop, it actually has sub layers as well. And you don't need to worry about drawing on top of a shape because it retains the information just like that. So this is how Illustrator works. Hope you guys some learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.